So, so we keep going. You're good. Okay. Okay, everybody, give me your attention. Eyes up here. Eyes up here real quick. Okay, so you're busy looking at your evidence. A forensic investigator, though, a scientist that uses these kinds of materials, has to make a report. And so you'll notice you have an evidence report to fill out. You have several pieces of evidence that have been given to you. You've got the fingerprint that was found at the crime scene, and then you've got three suspects' finger fingerprints that were taken. We don't know if one of them matches or not. That's going to give us some further evidence. So we need to investigate that. So notice in the middle column of the handout that you've been given, and my step oneers realize that we're talking about this right here, you have a place to write down either words or drawings, what do you observe about these pieces of evidence. And then in this third column, I want you to keep track of what did you use to make that observation. And then keep going. We also have hair sample from suspect, and, uh, suspects, and we have a hair sample that was found at the scene. And last but not least, we've got a mystery substance. Remember I told you on the actual victim, there was that powder found, and that's the evidence from the scene, that's evidence piece number three right there. But there's also three substances that we pulled out of the kitchen that we believe are very similar to that powder. And so I'm going to bring those around to you to investigate also. So make sure that you're making observations and recording them. And then you're going to be able to see a little bit more information that was gathered. So at the bottom of this second page, flip for it and look, right here is some more information that might help you make a conclusion. Okay, get busy. Look at your evidence, record, look at the more information we gathered, and then draw a conclusion.